Hello guys, good afternoon. You are welcome to my YouTube channel, the SPC Stories. And of course, you know my name is Dr. Joseph. In today's video, I shall be taking us in the one to two elementary system. Alright, you know the virus the previous video uploaded. I told us that I was going to upload another video on this topic. You know that this topic in AB122 is very broad, so I'm going to be splitting it into different word segments. Because if I want to use one video, I can use two hours, so I decided to do it bit by bit. Now, in our previous uh, video, we discussed the hormonal control for digestion. And I told us that gastrin secretin, cold cystokinin are the various hormones that are responsible for what digestion or that stimulates uh, the process of what digestion. I said gastrin stimulates the stomach to produce what? Here's see all about gastric juice. And also, it also stimulates the growth or the lining of the stomach, sto or the stomach, intestine, and what? Colon of the large intestine. And I said secretin, it causes the pancreas to produce what? A digestive juice. Like what I said, the juice is not fiber life. This juice we are talking of is type of enzyme that stimulates the root of the digestion it's not about that life i know and again this same secretin also stimulates the stomach to produce what pepsin no pepsin is that hormone that that convert protein to what peptone during the process of what protein digestion and the last one which is a uh, cold cystokinin that is cck it's uh it stimulates the growth of the pancreas making it to produce what a pancreatic juice all right it is also the cystokinin that's that's give that stimulates the gut bladder to empty the bile from inside. You know the place where bile is stored is called gut bladder. So please take note of their functions. Don't take one for the other. I also said that ghrelin is produced when the stomach is empty, and peptide YY is produced in response to food molecule and in the word appetite. Appetite. Please take note of that. Then I also told us about the feeding, different feeding mechanisms. I said that we have the mucus trap, which is used by organisms uh, such as tunicate, and chitopterus, and protobranch uh, gastropods. Then I also said that uh, organisms also use cilia. Ciliates, examples of animals that use cilia for feeding are we have the, the bivalve molus called mystilus and the oasters called the wood. Gas, uh, castrostra, all right. We also have the sponges, we have the tadpoles, and we have the protocodates. They all use cilia for what feeding. Then, animals also use seta, s e t a e, for what feeding. Examples of these animals are what African flamingos, baleen whale, small crustacean. All right, please don't take one for the other. And I said a type of sedentary uh, animal that feed. There is a deposit feeder, direct deposit feeder is called what? The sedentary polychaeta called what? Amphitrite. I said the amphitrite is a good example of what? The, uh, direct deposit what? Feeders. Okay, so just play the previous video to understand it. And I said uh, a sexual tube, uh, tube dwelling polychaeta is called what? Amphitrite, like what I said before. And I said that Sabella possesses what a banker penis surrounded by what a cilia so let us discuss what we have today in today's video i will be taking us different regions of the alimentary system based on what functions one we have we have about four regions one we have the receiving regions or region now this re receiving region is that region that accepts food molecules once it is what swallowed you know as soon as you you ingest food molecules, it is what masticated, and the mouth or the mouth is made up of salivary gland, the heart, and the soft plates. All right, now the salivary gland produces what saliva, and the saliva contains an enzyme called what thialine. Thialine, and this thialine is what alkaline in what form. So, this thialine helps in bringing the food molecules together in the form of what bolus. Okay. Which means that the partially digested food in the mouth is called what? bolus. And carbohydrates, food molecules are digested in alkaline medium, which is what? The mouth. Take note of that. It is very important. As soon as the food enters into the esophagus via peristasis, the movement of food in the esophagus is called what? 
peristasis please take note of that so which means that the two regions that receive molecules are what the esophagus and what the mouth the tube that connects the mouth to the esoph to the esophagus is called what pharynx then the tube that connects the pharynx to the stomach is called what esophagus so this is all about what the receiving what region the movement of food in the gullet or esophagus is called what peristasis then number two we have a uh, storing and what conducting region now as soon as food molecules are digested they are stored and what conducted into another what another channel or another alimentary what tract now you know crop crop in birds contains what food molecules it contain food molecules and it is inside the, from the crop you now have what you now have the gizzard and the gizzard has stones in it that help in what grinding food molecules into different what segments all right so please that is all about what the storing and what conducting region you now have theory the absorbing and what digestive region now all this okay and digesting region all these regions i said are classified based on one criteria which is what function now the absorbing okay now these two phenomena occur in the stomach the stomach and what intestine all right the principal digestion of food or storing of or absorbing of food occur in what the intestine now, as soon as the food molecules coming from the mouth enter into the stomach, now the stomach, the gastrin I said before, stimulate the stomach to produce what? Gastric juice. Which on the other hand produces what? HCL. You no know HCL is produced in the stomach, it converts pepsin or to what? Pepsin. Alright, so as soon as the food gets to the stomach, it mixes the food molecules one it receives the food molecules it mixes it and theory it empties it now please the churning of food molecules in the stomach by the muscular contraction is called what trituration trituration don't forget that all right the churning of food molecules in the stomach by the muscular contraction of the wall of the stomach is called what trituration and the partially digested food that leaves the stomach is called what chyme chyme please the partially digested food that leaves the stomach is called what chyme take note of this and the food are churned in the in the true process called what trituration so um, again let us discuss ruminant animals and you know ruminant animals are herbivores okay they feed on food molecules that reminds me dash is a characteristic of suspension feeder of sedentary feeder please suspension feeder of feeding is a characteristic feature of sedentary aquatic animal they will ask you we dash is a characteristic feature of a sedentary aquatic animal please it's what suspension feeding i just remember it occurred to me i would have said it in the previous video but just take note of that so uh i said let us discuss what ruminant animals ruminant animals are animals that have four compartments they have four compartments they are the rumen reticulum umasum and abumasum that is the stomach and inside this one absorbing and what digesting region you know that the small intestine has several enzymes the sucrase the matis the lactase trypsin and what erepsin they are all found inside what the small intestine so we'll get them we'll quickly write the stomach out and give a thorough explanation now I said we have rumen, reticulum, omasum, 
and I'll go and pull my soul. Now listen, as soon as ruminant animal ingest food molecules, as soon as ruminant animals ingest food molecules, it passes the esophagus. It passes the esophagus and enter into the world, stomach. You know that stomach is actually a, an absorbing and what? Storing what? Region, all right? Now, that is the like, mechanical digestion of food occurs in what? The stomach. The stomach does not necessarily absorb food molecules. It acts as what? A storage what? Medium. And listen to the listen. You know the ruminant animals, they have what? A proventriculus. Proventriculus. Please, proventriculus is surrounded by what is called what? A chitin. Chitin, please. Proventriculus in birds. Proventriculus is not found in ruminant animals, please. It is found in birds. And they are surrounded by what? Chitin. It's responsible for digestion and what? Absorbing of food molecules. Now, ruminant animals. As soon as food leaves the esophagus of ruminant animals, it enters into the world, rumen. Now the rumen is that region where there's what? A symbiotic association. The rumen being the first stomach is that region where there's what? A symbiotic association between the cellulose in the rumen and cellulose digesting bacteria. So which means that the type of feeding association that exists between cellulose and cellulose digesting bacteria in the rumen of reticulum of a ruminant animal is called what? A symbiotic what? association. This is what will happen. During the process, these bacteria they will, that they will break or convert cellulose into three byproducts. Alright? In ruminant animal, the cellulose are, is converted into three byproducts which are one fatty acid two methane and three carbon four ozide all right so these are the three byproducts for what cellulose now carbon four ozide is given off as byproducts Methane is what also excreted. The, the fatty acid, the fatty acid is absorbed by the epithelial tissue found in the what in the rumen. All right, it is absorbed by the epithelial tissue found in what in the rumen. Now, as long as the food leaves the rumen, okay, as long as the food molecules are digested, it is what regurgitated. The animals will bring out the food molecules again. They will rechew it. The rechewed food molecule is called what? Cord. Alright, the, the food molecules that have been rechewed and re swallowed is called what? A cord. As soon as the cord is swallowed again, it passes, it bypasses the reticulum and goes straight to the word Oma soon. It bypasses, they will ask you, the missing link. Be, uh, the missing link of rumen and omasum is what reticulum. As now this cord is ingested, it bypasses reticulum and goes straight to the word omasum. Now from the omasum, it enters what the abomasum. Please, true stomach. Another name for the abomasum is called what true stomach. Another name for the abomasum is called what true stomach. So please take note of that. And the major absorption of food molecules occurs inside what? The abdomen muscle. Take, please, take note. Please, be a pato, be a pato pancreas, act as one, absorb, absorber of food molecule, and two, as a secretor of enzyme. Be a pato pancreas, one absorbs food molecule to secrete what digestive enzyme which means is both a secretor and what an absorber of food molecules so please take note of that and uh, i think i've treated now we now have the fourth one 
The fourth one is the water absorbing and voiding region. Water absorbing and what? Voiding region. Now, as soon as food molecules have been broken down, as soon as they, they pass into the light intestine, the light intestine only absorbs the, the water molecule present in it and they are eventually what? Passed out in the form of what? Physics. There is a word I'm trying to remember. Okay, fine. Let us, so I've given us the four, four regions. Receiving region, conducting and storing region, absorbing and digestive region, and two, water absorbing and what? Voiding region, based on what? Function. Now there are two nerves that control digestion. Two nerves. The nerves that are responsible for digestion one we have we have the extrinsic nerve and this nerve produces two hormones which are acetylcholine and what adrenaline so these two entities are both produced by what the extrinsic what nerve so please the function of the acetylcholine is to stimulate the contraction of the wall of the stomach so that the food can squeeze and pass through the wall, the pyloric region of the stomach. The work of the acetylcholine is to stimulate the wall of the stomach, align the squeezing of food molecule through the pyloric wall, sphincter. Now, the adrenaline, what it does is to decrease the rate at which uh, blood passes through the intestine all right it decreases the flow of blood into what the intestine and you now have what two the intrinsic the intrinsic nerve and the intrinsic nerve does not do a lot of things and it does not do a lot of things compared to the extrinsic nerve this intrinsic nerve produces different digestive of molecules that either slow or reduce the rate of what? digestion. And this intrinsic nerve is usually found in the esophagus, stomach, intestine, and what? colon. Right, so these are the places the intrinsic nerve is what? found. Please take note, the, the finger-like projections found